Hello, everybody. How is everyone out in Facebook world doing? Um, I'm sorry that I'm actually late getting on here. Little baby Milo is very needy. Um, I had gone to take a shower and Niles was saying that he kept jumping down from him and wouldn't stay up. Hey, Barbara, and wouldn't stay on the sofa with him. He wanted his mom. So baby Milo is joining us for just a moment. <laughs> Um, hopefully you guys are having a really great night. Um, as you're joining on, please say hello, drop a one, hit the share. Please hit that share button for me. It really does help out with um, just networking and all that fun stuff. Um, but anyways, this is exactly why I was late because baby Milo was giving dad fits and wanted his... Um, he wanted his mommy, so he's a sweet, sweet boy. Say hello, Brandy. Say hello. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Hey, Tony. Hey, guys. All right, I'm going to set him down into his bed real quick, just so he's going to stay up here with me. Um, he, uh, he's at home. Hello, Paisley. How are you? Hey, Tammy. Hey, you guys. Make sure that whenever you join, say hello, drop a one, hit the share. We had like 126 shares the last time. And I just, woo, hello, hello, hello. Um, I just washed my hair and it is like everywhere. This is like untamed hair. <laughs> Thank you for doing that, Barbara. Thank you for sharing, Brandy. So tonight, we are going to be doing this look. Um, this look is by Jacqueline Hill. Hello, Katie. Hey, Deanna. Hello, hello. Thank you for sharing. Yay, I'm so glad you made it. Hey, Millicent. Whoops. So, um, well, I'm just going to change it on you guys. I'm telling you, it's been one of those days. Um, but, yes, so here we go. So this is the look we're going for some purples. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Ashley. So, um, some purples and some blues and some teals and all that fun stuff. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Hey, Melissa. All right. So, I have, like, been MIA for a little while, um, just with lots of things going on with Charlie's passing and things like that. It was just a really difficult time. And, um, but I'm back. Um, Yay, yay, yay. Uh, but anyway, so let's, yeah, let's get this look started. Who's ready to get this look started? Y'all throw up some hearts. All right, so I am not the most prepared tonight because just a lot has been going on. So we're just going to jump right in and get these brows. Oh, yes. Hey, Ashley. Hey, you guys. Hello. Yeah, so I'm super excited about these colors. Come on, Milo. Here. There you go, darling. Um, all right. So, yes, thank you for sharing. So, yeah, I'm super excited about this purple and the teal. And I think I'm even going to add a little bit of, like, glitter to it. I think that I'm going to add a little bit of, like, this glitter to it. Just to add a little extra pop to it. Um, but we'll wait and see how the actual colors turn out. I'm going to start out with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Oh, yay! I'm so glad you decided to join, Tony. Awesome. Milo, what's wrong, darling? What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? He's not getting very comfortable. Hang on just a second, guys. I'm sorry. Hang on just one moment. Do you want out? You want out? Do you not like the door shut? Okay. I apologize. Awesome job. Awesome job. Okay, so we're going to start out with Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. And we're going to use the Limelight um, number 14 brush. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Vicki. Hey, you guys. Make sure you say hello as you're joining on. And um, hit that share button. I'm curious to see how many shares we can get tonight. I would love, 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 love to get as many shares as we did the other night. So, we shall see. We shall see. 
All right, before I do anything, I almost forgot to do my Limelight um, First Base Makeup Primer. If you've got pores or uneven skin tone, or if you've got some redness on your face, that's going to even all of that out for you. So that makeup primer is, it smells good. It's very fresh. Four shares. Yeah, we can do better than four shares. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go in with my number 14 brush. And I'm going to start here at the corner. And I'm just doing very short strokes. And all the way over to the side. And then we're going to do the same thing on the top. Hello, Candy. Hey, Kelly. How are you? Girl, I love that blue shadow look. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing. It really does help out with networking. And I have been missing for a little while. Um, Uh-oh. Hang on a second. I'm telling y'all, anything that could go wrong tonight is going wrong. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay, now we're set. I promise we are set. I totally forgot to plug in the plug-in to the wall, and so my phone was dying on me. All right, so let's fill the rest of this brow in. I'm going to leave the front part not filled in because I'm going to use the access, um, the access from the um, where I have filled this in to fill in the front part of the brow. Oh, I'm sorry. That's no problem, Kelly girl. That's what replays are for. No big deal. But this looks this will be like a look that you definitely could pull off. I know you could, so. All right, so I'm just brushing this through. Our hair naturally our hair naturally grows thinner here than the rest of our brow, and so I'm just filling this in. Hey Jennifer, hey Taylor, hey you guys. Make sure you say hello as you're joining. And hit that share button just so we can get more people on here it makes it a lot more fun so what has been happening with you guys since I have been gone like I've been gone for like a whole week hey Faith how are you so anything going on that I have missed out on, I'll tell you, um, just in the last couple of days, only because of little baby Milo, I've even started getting back on Facebook. Hello, thank you for sharing. That's okay. That's no problem. All right, so um, I have been like missing because of losing my little Charlie. Um, it was very, very hard. And now I'm like taking care of this new baby, which is practically like taking care of a newborn. Hello! Thank you, Betty Sue. Betty Sue actually got to meet baby Milo. Um, he has like already, he's just blossoming right before my eyes, guys. I'm telling you, it's incredible. He just, he's happier day by day. Uh, he... He's just so much better. He's not shaking and trembling as bad when I go to pick him up. And it's just a beautiful thing. You've been doing good? Oh, wonderful. So anything exciting going on in anybody's world this week? What's happening? Let's see. Today is, I don't even know what today is. Today is Tuesday, I believe. <laughs> it's terrible. Today's Monday. Wow, y'all, I'm sorry. Today is Monday. I have lost track of time uh, it has been a rough week. All right, so we're just brushing this through. Again, this is my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color chocolate. And we're going to go back in with the um, Limelight Concealer. And we're going to clean all of this up and get these even and all that jazz. All that jazz. Um... Been keeping up with the pups. Oh, I know. They're so precious, too. Oh, I love those babies. They are adorable. I'm glad you're turning in your homework on time, too, Barbara. That's wonderful. So, good job on your part. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my Limelight Concealer. I'm going to use my um, Zero. My Zero Zero. And... I've got to find my 
little brush. Here we go, my MAC 208 brush. And we are just gonna carve out these brows. Hey, baby, hey, baby. Milo is not sure. I may have to get Niles to come get him. Hey, Niles. Niles, would you please come get Milo? He's really nervous. Thank you. Hello, Krista. Hello, Rachel. Hey, Hannah. Hey, you guys. Hey, Abby. Make sure you say hello. Aww. Oh, that's wonderful, Tony. How exciting. So are you having a big wedding? A small wedding? What's wrong? Did you scare him? Yeah. I just walked up well, take his blanket and you can get him that way. He's with his mommy over here. Baby Milo. Here. Here. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. He's just, I'm telling y'all, he is a fragile soul. Hello, Alicia. Hello, Rachel. Hey, you guys. Make sure you hit that share button for me, please. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, okay, let's say, hey, Alicia, how are you? So, Tony, talk to me about this wedding. Is it a big wedding? Is it a small wedding? Um, Yeah, like some details. I love weddings. Weddings are fun. All right, we're just carving these brows out with Limelight Concealer Zero. Carving these brows out. I'm such a I'm such a lover of weddings. Ugh, weddings are awesome. I'm so glad you found a new church too. Niles and I have found a new church also, and we really, really love it. Um, it's nice to go and be fed the word, and you walk away and you feel like, man, I really needed that. We're just getting married with the church, and they'll have a bigger wedding at a later Oh, that's wonderful. So just like a little quaint ceremony. Well, that's nice. That will be very, very lovely. That's all that matters. You don't have to have a, you don't even have to have a big wedding, girl, if you don't want one. If, if you don't ever get around to do it, I'm telling you, it's just a lot of money, a lot of money. So, um, let's see. Hey, Debbie, how are you? All right, so going in with Limelight Zero, we're still just carving these brows out. And I've actually been watching my girl Lauren, and she's been connecting these so that they're even. And I'm like, that's actually a great idea. So, yeah. Not that I would leave it this way, because we will definitely blend it out, but hey. <laughs> All right. So, next thing we're going to do is, I'm going to go in with my Limelight um, number 4 brush. And I'm going to use my Concealer 01 here. And I'm just going to uh, conceal under my eyes. And also on my eyelids, because as you guys remember, or as you recall, as I've told you before, the concealer doubles as an eyeshadow primer. Hey, Mandy! Um, doubles as an eyeshadow primer and it um, prevents creasing and makes your eyeshadows last longer and just yeah it's the concealer is fantastic I love that it doubles as a concealer and a uh, um, eyeshadow primer and it's also and I also use the the lighter one as a highlighter so love it love it love it all right. So, Faith, how are... Hi, Abby. How are you? How is life treating you, girl? Good, I hope. I hope it's treating you good. I hope that little Milo is not giving Niles fits downstairs. Y'all just don't even know. He's gotten really, really attached. All right, now I'm going to go in with my Limelight Iridescent Powder. And I'm just going to put a little bit of iridescent powder over the top of my concealer that I just placed on my eyelids just so that it prevents the creasing. And it just mattifies it and kind of just locks it into place. 
so that it is ready to go for these beautiful, beautiful colors. I'm excited about this look. I hope you guys are too. I know um, Kayla was the one that actually recommended it, and unfortunately, her babies are sick, so I don't even know if she'll be on here tonight. Okay, so I am out of eyeshadow shields, so we are going to go to something that I've never used, which is just scotch tape, but this is one of those very sharp lines, so we're going to put just a little bit of scotch tape here so that we can pack that color down. Good. Sorry for your lot. Oh, thank you, girl. Do you ever use matte foundation? Um, this actually is a matte. It does, it does work as a matte, Brandy. After it's all said and done, it doesn't have any shine to it. It is matte. It, it is a matte. Um, it's a wax base, but whenever I put the powder over the top of it, it mattifies it so that it has that matte look to it. Hey, Suzanne. Hey, you guys. Hey, if you're just joining, please say hello. Hit the share. All that fun stuff. Okay, so I never use scotch tape, but, well, we're going to tonight because I'm out of eyeshadow shields and it will work. Okay, so we are going to be using that Jacqueline Hill palette tonight. And what colors do they have on here? We're going to be using, let me turn this over here. We're going to be using this color here, which is called Silk Cream. So we're going to be using Silk Cream. Uh-oh, one just fell out. Don't one just fell out. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. All right. We're also going to be using, let's see, Royalty. And we're going to be using these two colors called Pool Party and Jada. So these are the colors. So these two colors here, will the Lime Light Foundation dry out your skin? No, it will not dry out your skin. Um, if it does during the... Hey, Kayla, I didn't know if you were going to make it or not. I'm glad you're here. It has never dried out my skin. But I will tell you that if for some reason it was a little drying or if my skin during the winter time gets a little dry I use a little bit of must do in the foundation itself and it does it's it's not drying at all the only time that I ever experienced drying though personally is during the winter time like when I went to Colorado it was like crazy dry my skin was just like what are you doing and yeah <laughs> you're here for a uh, for a few Okay, I hope that answers your question, Brandy. I hope, I hope, I hope. All right, let me find my limelight brush here. So we're going to start out with a fluffy brush, you guys. Uh, this is number 10. This is my number 10 brush. So just a fluffy brush. We're going to use this transition color first. And all we're going to do is, is we're going to start over here on the corner. And we are just going to build this up. How are your babies feeling, Kayla? And then we're just going to pull this over into the crease. Now this will be a slow, gradual build. I may be placed... Oh, wonderful! Well, if you need color matching, I can help you with that. I'll be happy to do whatever I can to answer your questions. Oh, and here's the beautiful part. All the products are a 30-day money-back guarantee. So in the event that they could not work for you, you can return them and get your money back. So you've not lost anything. All right. So the foundation is $34. It will last you eight months, five to eight months, usually closer to that eight-month mark. Mine lasts a little bit less because I use so much of it. So I'm just, I've just drawn a line over here, and I'm just swooping this over. This is that first color we're going to use. This is the transition color. It's a pretty color. I do like this color. All right, over here. Kaylee, you'll have to catch the replay, honey, since this was your look that you wanted me to do. Oh, then I've got both of those for you then. I've got both of those. Now, I do encourage the Power Pack only because if you want a look that stays in place all day that gives you that flawless look, I will be using all the products tonight. And I will identify which ones come in that power pack. Um, and the best part is, is all the products are really super affordable. 
which is the only reason why I even started selling them is because they were so affordable. If they're not affordable, then, I mean, I just didn't want to be a part of it. So that's why I love them so much. Okay, now we're going to go in with Royalty, which is this purple color. I'm going to use the same brush, and we basically are going to be doing the exact same area. My youngest is the sickest. My middle got over it almost, and now it has it again. Oh, girl, I am so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Um, so it's, there's not a link directly to the power pack. You do individual products, Dana. You do the individual products. There's not. I can, um, I can list in the link down, I can list in the comments below after I'm done what exactly you need to purchase in order to get the power pack, but it's the primer spray, the foundation, the iridescent setting powder, and the, um, finishing spray. I'm very okay. So while well, while we're doing this, I'll tell you what comes in the power pack. You've got your makeup base primer, okay. You've got the ten years younger makeup finishing spray. If you deal with any oil at all, we have an oil strike finishing spray um, that can kind of break that oil down. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Dana. It's no problem. This locks in your makeup for sixteen hours. It also has anti aging properties in it. You also We'll um, get the iridescent powder, okay? Don't mind my hole there in the middle, but you'll get the iridescent powder, and you will get a foundation. So the foundation, the iridescent powder, and the two sprays are what is called the power pack, okay? All right. Yes, girl, that is why you could not find it. Okay, so let's go back in. We're just going to really pack in this color right here because we want a super sharp line. And they've got this halfway through the lid. And then they bring it over. All right, gotcha. All right, so the trick obviously is just blend, 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 blend. Now, I'm not taking it all the way up to where you can't see that transition color, okay? That's the key. Now, this is one where you do just keep packing, packing, packing the color because we want it to be like this, like, really super sharp line. They did mix a little bit of black in there also. I just realized that. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad I saw that. Well, girl, I hope that you don't catch it. Oh, I hope that you do not get the flu. That is no fun. If you're just joining, please say hello. Um, please hit that share button for me. The last time I did a live, you guys did like 124 shares. I was completely blown away. I don't, I don't, I don't think that we'll get near that tonight, only because. Quite honestly, I've not been consistent with my videos, just with everything that's been going on. And so we shall see how many shares we can get tonight. Thank you for sharing. I cannot wait either. Did you guys see Betty Sue's before and afters on my page? I, she came over and we got her color matched and everything. And I absolutely was blown away by her before and after. She looked amazing. So if you've not seen her before and after, you need to check that out on my page. All right, so we're just going to keep packing this in and pulling this over. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M510 brush, and I'm just going to kind of blend this out on the top with a medium hand because we don't want it to be, we just want it, we just want it blended with that top color, but we don't want to blend that color out completely, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. I usually try to make sense, but sometimes I realize afterwards, I'm like, I don't know if that made sense or not. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. All right, now we're going to put in a little bit of black because they have mixed some black in there. I'm a little nervous about this, but we'll see. 
black is just so um it can be very very heavy but we'll see I think it's going to turn it kind of a darker color, like a darker purple. So hopefully it'll be okay. And I may have to put some more purple over the back of the top of it. But we shall see. We shall see. Hello, Christine. Hey, you guys. Make sure you say hello whenever you join. Hit the share. All right. So I'm basically just kind of winging this out at the top. I will clean this up after I get, um, after I take off these strips. Hi, Kylie. Hey, girl. How are you? We are doing this purple, teal, um, and, well, and some black shadow look tonight. And I'm thinking about throwing in some glitter, too. Why not? Unless I can get this particular shadow to work right for me. We shall see. All right, let's do this eye. We're just going to put some black over here. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just kind of winging this up to the eyebrow. All right. Yes, yes what? Yes, what, Kayla? Glitter? Is that what you're guessing? <laughs> you guys are always lovers of glitter. All right, so I'm going to use my Morphe M510, and I'm just going to kind of blend this out again at the top. All right. Hey, Jessica. Glitter. See, I knew it was glitter. If I'd have been a betting woman, I'd have won that bet. I can throw on some glitter. It's just right in the corner at the front. So it will be good. Glitter is good. Okay. All right. Now, here we go. Let's see. All right. I'm going to have to clean this up a little bit with my MAC 208 and some concealer. I'm going to do concealer zero. And just kind of clean this up a little bit at the front. I got too much, too much shadow. Hello, Brandy. Hey, you guys. Make sure you say hello whenever you join. Hit that share button, please. All right, I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut this out with my MAC 208. Because I got shadow on the front of my lid and you're not technically supposed to do that but I did oh well um <laughs> girl I've got a ton of brushes too hey Cherie or Sherry I'm sorry how are you um brushes you you I have my favorites so I do love my limelight brushes but I have my favorite brushes brushes are a game changer and I have my go-to's so even though I have a ton of brushes, I don't even use all of them. Um, I may use them periodically. It just depends. All right, so I'm just doing half of my lid, which is pretty much is pretty much the same on each side. I feel like I did mess up this one side though. So let me go back and fix this a little bit. This over just a little bit too far. I do love these colors. You got to go work. All right, girl, you go do your homework. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So now we're going to go in with, let's see, this is Pool Party. Pool Party. And we are just going to put this right over where I just put that concealer. And we're just going to kind of blend this in together. You guys, is that not the prettiest color? <gasps> I love this color. I do love this color. Very, very pretty. I just popped on. Aw, thank you, girl. About an application in Johnson City, Tennessee. Why are you going to work in Johnson City and you live in Knoxville, you silly girl? 
All right. It's not homework. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm glad you popped on, Brandy. Thank you for popping on and saying hello. And replays are always great for that reason right there, where you can come back and catch it at a later time. Replays are the best. You love these colors? This is a look that Kayla sent to me. So if you find looks that you like, um, and you send them to me in a private message, then I will recreate them for you. I love doing that. Oh, because you like the job. That MAC-10 is a savior. Yes, it is. You are so right about that. I love, love, love that brush. I want to get the smaller one, too. And it's just a really good blending brush. I found that it is, like, my favorite. So I'm just going to kind of blend this together. Now I'm going to go back with some purple. And I'm just going to lay this right over the edge there. And let's see. I'll do a little bit of black, too. These colors are very, very pretty. But yeah, that's how I got this look was from her. She sent it to me and asked me if I would please do it. All right, so I'm just going back and forth with the purple and black, guys. That's all I'm doing. Hey, Laura. Hello, hello. I'm just going back and forth with the purple and black. That's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to go back in with this brush and blend this out at the top. You just want those colors to be smooth and transitioning. That is all. That is all. All right. So I'll do the same thing over here. Michaela asked me to throw on some glitter. So I will throw on a little bit of glitter. All right. I cannot wait to take these off, though, you guys. But look at all of this fallout. That is the one thing about that Jaclyn Hill palette is that it has some major fallout. Thank heavens for concealer and being able to clean it up, right? <laughs> all right. So let's see here. I'm going to put on a little bit of glitter. I'm going to use my... This Miss Goss Cosmetic, um, I think I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use this one down here, which is pretty close to um, the exact color on my lids. I feel like it is anyways. And I'm just going to use my finger because I'm not going to pack it on. I'm just going to put just the tiniest bit on. What kind of tape are you using? Um, tonight, I'm using just scotch tape. I normally use the eyeshadow shields, but I am out of them. So tonight is just scotch tape. No special tape. Walmart. Walmart is the key. All right, so we'll put a little bit over here on this other eye. Hello, Victoria. Hey, Sophia. Hey, Jamie. Hey, you guys. That answered your question? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just using my finger to put on a little bit of glitter. I'm not going to pack this glitter on tonight. I'm just doing this for a little bit of effect. Clean this up. And then we're going to take off these. She, uh, take, take off this tape. Because we are done with this part. I'm anxious to see. Well, if I can get the tape up. This is why I don't like tape, though, because it sticks. And it is hard to get off. Voila! All right. Uh, the glitter I got from Amazon, and it is a great glitter pad. It is really a great glitter pad. All right, let's clean this up. I'm going to clean this up a little bit right here. I just want to blend that out a little bit more on the top. What do we think so far, guys? Are we liking this? The glitter, uh, but the glitter pad came off of Amazon. It's super affordable, too. 
and we will finish out the bottom part as well but right now we're going to move on move on to the next thing all right i'm going to put on some absolutely yay i'm going to use a gel liner tonight i'm so glad y'all love it there's still some work to be done but we'll we'll get there we'll get there it's pretty good pretty good i do like the colors okay so now i'm going to go in with my Limelight number 13 brush, and I'm going to use my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel tonight, which I'm almost going out beach look. Yes, that would be an awesome look for going out at the beach. That would be a, this would be a great look. All right, so I'm going to use my, my um, angled brush, which is currently, the brush as a single brush is still currently out of stock. I'm actually watching for it for a couple of friends of mine. So, Miss Jessica and Miss Betty Sue were asking about it while they were over here. Um, okay, so, it's like this super thin, super duper thin, and where you can create like the perfect, the perfect wing. Now, she doesn't have a very big wing on here, so I'm going to let the purple be the showcase. I'm just going to put a small one. I'm just pulling this over, and as you guys know, I cannot talk and put on eyeliner like I struggle. Big time with it. So, again, you'll just have to be patient with me like you always are while I'm doing my eyeliner. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over here. But I'm going to kind of join this down here on the bottom. And we will blend all that together. But I'm going to leave this just a very small wing um, because I would much rather the purple, like I said, be the showcase than the actual, um, the actual black eyeliner. But having just a small wing kind of fades into that black shadow that I was using. Um, so... I wish my hand was that steady. Oh, uh, it's it's just it just takes a little practice. You could do it. All right. We're going to try to get this even. I struggle with the wing liner period. Uh okay, so key. Don't take off the tape. Do your eyeliner before you take off the tape and it creates a sharp edge and it makes winged eyeliner a whole lot easier. That's just a little a little tip. All right, time to swing this over. This brush makes it super easy to do a wing too. The key is really in the brush. Now, also the Limelight uh, Perfect Eyeliner makes it super easy to do a wing as well. Because of the tip that's on it, it gives you a very fine tip and it allows you to do like a super easy wing also. So the Perfect Eyeliner is also a great option tonight. I just decided to do the gel only because I was putting on glitter and I didn't want to mess up my felt tip on my Perfect Eyeliner. And I always sit with like my mouth agape when I do my eyeliner. It's crazy. All right. Okay. I feel like they're pretty even. Okay, 
I'll sometimes have an eye that looks great and the other looks like someone threw a cup of <laughs> Oh boy. Well, um, um, I'm not really sure what to say to that, Brandy. <laughs> but I, um, I struggle too some days. Like right now, I'm getting eye, um, this eyeliner. I have it on my finger. And so it has proceeded to get all over my face. That's awesome. All right. Just clean this up okay let's see I have an uneven eye like one is smaller than the other so it's hard to make my eyes even so I get what you're saying and the best way to do it is simply by the smaller eye I would start with it and then I would just try to I would do a little bit at a time and just slowly work your way up to the look that you want, um, I would just like take a step back and look at it and see what you think about it as you do it little by little. All right, I'm going to fill in these water lines too. That would be the only way I would know how to do it. Hey, Luann. Hey, how are you? Make sure you hit that share button, please. If you're just joining, we're just filling in this water line on the top and the bottom. All right. Clean this brush off on my little trusty towel. And now I'm going to take my, this angled brush here, okay? And I'm just going to pull this black gel liner down out of the water line and kind of just blend it underneath the eyelashes. And we will clean that up. The lovely world of cleaning up. Cleaning up. Okay. Let's see. That's how my lashes are. One is, oh girl. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. That is too funny. Okay. Let's go back in. When I do the water line, it seems eyeliner gets everywhere. I think it may just be. Um, if you get a waterproof, it will help Amanda. If you get a waterproof one. And the way, and that's why I drag it down with a brush afterwards is so that it prevents it from running. And it gives you more of that smoky eye look that we're going for anyways when we do it underneath the, the lash line. I'm just cleaning this up with my concealer brush. I'm going to go back with some purple and some of the teal after I get my foundation on and do the under eye part. Okay? All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. I'm going to use my Artiste brush, okay? And I'm going to go in with my Olive One foundation. Wax base does not settle into fine lines or pores. Sets on top of the skin. Feels like skin. If you have acne, it will definitely even help with that. It usually helps clear it up even. It's the craziest thing, but it's helped me out tremendously. But it gives you that flawless airbrush look. It's 50% pigmented, so a little goes a long way. Most of your ones that you buy at Ulta or Sephora are like 24 or 25% pigmented, and this one's 50% pigmented. So, good, good foundation. All right. All right, let's clean up this concealer here. You I know girl, I'm so excited for you to get it. I saw that order come through and I'm like, "Yay!" I cannot wait for you to try it. You are going to love it. All right. It is buildable, so if you want to wear, if you want to build on it, you can. And it does not get cakey. It does dry as a mat. But not settling into wrinkles or pores is a beautiful, beautiful thing. It just gives you that flawless skin look. 
If you were to use fake eyelashes, do you put them on first before your eye makeup or after? Um, I put them on after. I put them on after I do my makeup and my eyeliner. Okay. Now, let's do a little bit of contouring. I'm going to use my Perfect Bronzer. My Perfect Bronzer, my Limelight Perfect Bronzer. You can actually use this as a contour, which is amazing. I'm going to use my Angular Brush. This is Limelight number 03. Um, I'm hoping I can talk the hubs in it. Oh, I hope so too. I hope so too. Laura, you've got the mascara coming, girl. So that's a that's a good one to have. All right, I'm just going to pull my... This is going to help my cheekbones look higher. So I'm contouring for a round face. If you suck in, those indentions is exactly where you want this to go. And I just realized that... Hang on just a second. Let's see here. I totally missed a spot. Oh, you got it already? Yay! Oh, Betty Sue, I'm so glad you love it. I'm going to start it by the ear, and I'm just going to kind of swing this down in kind of a half, like a, like almost like a circular motion. And the key to it, guys, is blend, 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 blend. I'm going to kind of just pull it up a little bit. I realize why glitter is not my best friend because I get it everywhere. I'm going to put this up here by my hairline. Yes, girl. I've got to get that in the mail to you tomorrow. I did. I failed to do that today. I had several appointments today, so I will get it in the mail to you, though. Get your skin all squared away. All right, I'm going to put this down here on along the chin line and just kind of blend it down my neck. All right, I'm also going to contour my nose. I'm going to take the same bronzer and I'm just going to run this down each side and right underneath it. And followed up with a very stiff brush. Um, oh, I, well, thank you for understanding. But I will get it in the mail to you. Life is just crazy right now. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. So we're just pulling that down. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to highlight a little bit. I'm going to use my Concealer Zero to highlight with. I'm going to use my very small Artiste brush. I got those. I got these from TJ Maxx. I love using them though. And I'm just going to do this as a triangular shape. This will not cause a flashback like where you have in the pictures where your where the the um, it looks like your face is white there. It doesn't do that, so you don't have to be concerned about that happening with the Limelight products. You never know how to contour your nose, so if you draw just a line down each side and right underneath, and then you're going to pull it down, that's how you contour your nose. YouTube videos, girl. YouTube videos are, like, super key. All right, we're just highlighting in the areas just to bring light to specific areas of my face. I've got glitter, y'all. I'm not kidding you. Everywhere. This is insane. If you could pick one product to start, what would you say is the best investment? If you could pick only one product, it honestly depends on what you're wanting to focus on, Dana. I would say probably the foundation um, and just add the other stuff later. That would probably be my thing. All right, we're going to take this right below that right below where we contoured and I just basically make like half circles and we're going to go back and blend all this in all right hey 
Julie. How are you? Okay, let me get this other beauty blender and I'm just going to stipple this in. So I'm just going to push this into the skin. I'm not going to smear it. I'm just going to push it in. Hopefully that answered your question, Dana. It's really your call, meaning whatever is most important to you. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit so that it blends out that bronzer a little bit more. All right. Do the nose. Again, we're just stippling this in, just pushing it into the skin. And pull this up. And voila. Okay. All right. Now I did cover up a little bit of that across my forehead. So let's go back in with the bronzer and just add a little bit more. All right, now I'm going to take just a brush and I'm going to use my iridescent powder to go back and set everything, mainly where I put that the highlighter so that it mattifies it and it locks it into place so that your makeup looks the same all day. It doesn't change on you. It's a beautiful thing. So when you leave early in the morning, when you get home, it still looks the same. Gotta love the limelight for that reason right there. With no touch-ups. Which is the exciting part, too. Okay. Alright, let me see what they've got here. So, let's um, finish the under eye real quick. We're going to go back to the Jaclyn Hill. And we're going to use the royalty, and um, we're going to pull this color down into the corner of the eye. So we're just going to use the royalty and I should have done this before only because of all of the fallout. Y'all, the fallout is awful on this palette. I love the colors though. I do love the colors. Let me use a different brush. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that will help. We shall see. So I'm only pulling that color to about right here because we're going to pull this down into over here in the tear duct area. Hey Emily. Hey you guys. If you're just joining, please say hello. Hit the share. Hitting that share button, I really, really do appreciate it. All right. Now I'm going to go back and fill in that corner area with the other, with the pool party. Let me see which brush do I want to use. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to use my pencil brush. Did you add more color to your brush? Did I add more color to my brush? When? On what? Which which part? The eyeshadow? Do you travel if it's worth your while? If it's worth my while, yes, I will. Um, where where are you at, Tony? Remind me. Where do you live? I don't even know where you live. Where do you live? You'll have to remind me. I did. I probably did add more color to my brush. I usually knock off the excess, but I do add more color. That like makes that. Does that not make that? I'm trying to. When you were bringing under the eye, yes, I do. If it doesn't, if I don't get enough, like I knock off a lot of the excess because of the fallout. 
So I usually have to add more color to the brush. Yes. Akron, oh good good gracious girl. Uh that that's a long haul. <laughs> um I've not thought about that far. So Felicia, that's how I know you is is through Felicia, right? Is that how I know you, Tony? Remind me. You have to remind me here. Because she lives in Akron, too. Or maybe you just guys have been sharing it so much, it's starting to run. Okay, I need your help. I need your help. Should I add a little bit of the glitter to this area down here or just leave it with the shadow? Throw up a one for glitter a and a two or just don't put up anything so throw up some ones if you think I should put glitter right there in the bottom corner of my eye like I did up here do, 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 do. I will wait around and see what do we think throw up some actually just throw up some hearts throw up some hearts if you want glitter or no hearts if we don't want glitter and while I'm waiting I'm going to do some uh, some highlighter this is my new favorite highlighter, guys. This is Kristen Leanne. It's an Urban Decay. Oh, I've got some. I've got some thumbs ups, some ones, and some thumbs ups. That's from my, from Kayla. So I've got two ones. So we do think so. Okay. All right. I'm seeing lots of hearts. So I will throw in some glitter there. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna take my fan brush here. I'm gonna run it across here. Some sparkle. All right, someone shared about the llama, and I asked where I could get that, and someone put your name. Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, let's just talk afterwards and see what we can come up with, girl, okay? All right, I can even give you my phone number, and we can chat on the phone if need be. All right, so I'm going to put this over here on my cheekbones. Y'all, I love some highlighter, like ridiculously how, how good highlighter. Um, hello, Diana. Put this on the tip of my nose. Use my fan brush to just kind of fan it out. And up here, fan it out. I'm even gonna put a little bit right here. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you, girl. And I'm also gonna put a little bit on my Cupid's bow. All right, now to add that glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. I get excited about glitter. It's fun. All right, here we go. I'm just going to set this. That really did help. I do like that. That's a good idea, you guys. That's a wonderful idea. All right. Your baby sister is laughing so hard when you talk. Why is she laughing hard? Am I that funny? Okay. All right. Let's throw in some blush. And I'm just going to use an angled brush here. I'm going to go with my Limelight blush. Super pigmented. You guys, this is a great blush too. Glitter. Ah. All right. I'm going to go in between the bronzer and then the highlighter. And just drag up. Glitter is the bomb. Love glitter. I guess you got a different accent than me and her mom. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> ah, too funny. I grew up in South Mississippi. I don't think I'm that different, but hey, maybe so. Maybe so. All right. I'm going to use my perfect mascara tonight, and I'm also looking for my... Where is it? One moment trying to find it. Oh, there it is. All right, I'm going to use my brow gel. She, she I think, five months. Oh, <laughs> oh, too funny. All right. 
I'm just going to pull this through my brows because of the powder that I put on. I just don't want any of the powder being on my brows. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. Alright, now we're going to use Limelight Perfect Mascara. I'm not going to put on any lashes tonight, only because, quite honestly, I don't have any. I have used them all to the point that they were not usable anymore, so we're just going to go with some Perfect Mascara. This is Fiber Mascara. It's one-step mascara, and it lengthens and gives volume. rather than doing lashes, which a lot of people don't even wear lashes. So this is sometimes helpful when I don't do lashes. All right, my two-year-old always thinks you're talking to him when I watch. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Hey, hello, hello. See a few people, other few people joining on. If you're just joining, please say hello. Hit the share. We are almost done with this look. It was a fun look. If any of you try this look, please send me photos so I can see what you did. I always love getting photos of looks. Or if you have a look that you want me to try, let me know. Let's see. Barbara, you're back. Are you back? You guys, look at the difference. Do you see my, my eyelashes here? Like, you can't even see them over here, but look how long they are. Hey, Caitlin. All right. Let's put some little mascara over here. Love this mascara. Oh, to have like long eyelashes just normally, it would be incredible. So incredible. Hello, hello. Yes, this mascara is like legit. It is great stuff. I usually put on two coats, so I will go back and put on another coat. All right. I usually do two coats, though. Love it, love it, love it. If you don't have this mascara, you need this mascara in your life. If you need me to color match you, please drop the word me in the bottom and I will private message you and we will get you color matched. If you've got questions about particular products, you can certainly send me a message and I'll be happy to help you out any way that I can. All right. And... All right, the last thing I'm going to be concerned about is lipstick. Lipstick. I'm thinking maybe a nude lip tonight. I feel like because of these crazy eyes, definitely a nude lip. Oh, thank you. I will lock it in real quick with my 16 hours finishing spray. Okay, lip time. Let me see here. I'm going to give you guys a couple of options. Let me see. All right. Let's see. I have Buff. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Buff Matte Lipstick. So we can do number one. How long does it last? Uh, the foundation lasts you only three or four times a week. Oh, girl. Easy. Eight, nine months. The mascara lasts... Usually like three months, only because, of, well, I guess it just depends on how often you're using it. Because, you know, when you're putting, every time you use it, you're putting air in it. Which, don't ever pump it. You want to twist it. Uh, but, yeah, it usually lasts like three months. But if you only use it like three or four times a week, it probably would last even longer. 
All right, so this is creme brulee in a long-lasting lip color. This is Limelight, four to six hours. Okay, yeah, so it's recommended that you change your mascara every three months, but if you're not using it that often, it may last longer than that. I just, I wouldn't be able to tell you, like, exactly. I just know that I'm, in general, like, how long it's supposed to last. All right, so creme brulee. So we've got, I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. So we've got Buff in a matte lipstick. We've got Creme Brulee. Or we can go with just a sheer gloss. This is the Signature Jeweled Lip Gloss for Limelight in the color Hope. So which one do we think? One, two, or a gloss? Three. What do we think? Y'all throw up some numbers. So this is one two, or three? What do we think? But all of them will be more like a nude color. So number two, I've got a number two. Mm -hmm. Laura says number two, number three, number one, one, two, <laughs> Three. So we're like even. I feel like number ones are def maybe like one other person. What do we think? Betty Sue, you vote. One. She says one. All right. So we'll go with one. We'll go with one. All right. We've got three. Three. Oh, wait. We have more threes. You guys. We'll go with number three then. This is just a very soft look. So this is the color Hope. <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. So, this look is officially completed. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really do appreciate it so very much. And hopefully, um, some of you will stick around. I do have a Makeup Covers Jesus Heal session tonight. And so, if you would like to stick around for that, it's actually going to be a really good one. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you guys joining me. And um, I'm going to get my little journal here. And we are going to start our Makeup Covers Jesus Heals session. All right? So hopefully you guys will stick around. All right. 1 Corinthians 13, 13 says, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Do you ever refer to yourself as damaged goods because of bad experiences in life? What's the rush? What's the rush? What do you mean, what's the rush? What's the rush? I don't know what that means. What's the rush? What's the rush? I'm not sure what that means, Phyllis. You'll have to fill me in on that one. <laughs> um, hey, Laura. Thank you for the hearts, girl. Thank you so much. Always shine bright like a diamond. You love this. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so do you ever refer to yourself as damaged goods because of bad experiences in life? Do you ever feel like that you will never be loved the way you would like to be loved? Is your spirit broken because of what others have said or done to you? Have you lost hope in a happy future? Have you lost faith in that God wants you to have the life you're always rushed, rushing? Do I really rush and rushing? I don't mean to. I don't mean to rush or rushing. <laughs> um, have you lost faith in that God wants you to have the life you envision? I apologize for rushing, Phyllis. It feels like I'm rushing. I don't mean to, I don't mean for it to be like I'm rushing. Uh, so here's the deal. Tonight, what I want to focus in on is the story of my little Milo that I just got. As you all know, I lost Charlie. I'd had him for 13 years. Thank you, Laura. Um, 
I had lost him, or I had had him for 13 years, and um, I lost him last week, and so I now have this little baby, and he was, his name was BB, and so when I went to the shelter, I wanted to tell you guys basically a little bit of information about that particular day, okay? Uh, when I went in, they in fact had stopped even giving him, uh, allowing him to do meet and greets. And, but when I had spoken with the lady on the phone that day, she was just touched by me and my situation. And she said, you know, why don't you come up here and meet him? And so I went to meet him. I drove all the way to Boone, which is like about an hour and a half. Tina uh, Hollinsworth went with me, actually. And when we got there, they were explaining to me yet again that he's like this little broken soul, that he's very, um, he wouldn't let anybody touch him. There was only one girl that was able to touch him. Um, and she had been working on it for a while, and she said, you know, you've got to put the little blanket over him, and he shakes and quivers and jumps and moves. And she said, I had actually stopped all meet and greets with him because there had been like five families that had came in, and they were like, oh, I can pay $99 for a full-blooded dachshund, and I can sell him for 300 that's not the purpose. This little guy had came out of a hoarder's home, and um, he was with 17 other dogs, and he was very scared. Now, little he is now little Milo, because I didn't particularly, he didn't know his name, BB. Um, he's like a, a newborn baby, um, where he requires a lot of attention, a lot of affection, because he's never known love. And so, no one could hold him. And so, I waited and I told her, I said, well, let's not rush. Let's just give it a few minutes and then I'll try to hold him. Y'all, he immediately, like, just melted into my arms. And we just sat and talked for a while. And I said, well, she said, well, please tell me you're going to adopt him because he's not done this with anybody. And I'm like, well, you know, it's a big deal. Like, I just want to wait and see. Let me see if he'll let me pick him up and... You guys, I set him down, and I was able to pick him up without his blanket, which was a huge deal. And the room had all of this glass, and the next thing I know is all of, are all of these workers coming up to the glass, and they're looking in, and they're all just like, oh my gosh, like you're holding this baby uh, without even his blanket. This is a big deal. And I knew at that moment, I'm like, okay, so this is the baby for me. I brought him home, and Phoebe instantly started kissing him all over the face, and she then Phoebe started kissing me because she was grieving really, really badly. I have now given little BB, his name is now Milo, and I named him Milo Hope. And the reason why I named him Hope, or a middle name of Hope, is because, let's face it, he had no hope. Is a very broken spirit, very fragile, and um, everything is new to him. Grass is new, toys are new, um, love is new. And who would be able to live the first two years of their life never knowing love? What a scary world that must have been for him to not know love and to never experience the outdoors as a baby, as a little dog, um, and to live that kind of life. But I knew that there was a road ahead, and I knew that it was going to be a little bit of a difficult one because he required, he was going to require some extra special attention. But now when I got Charlie, he had been abused for the first four years of his life, and so he was much the same, and Charlie absolutely adored me. Um, he just loved me so very much. And so the truth is, um, is that I know that he would have never been adopted. I mean, he probably wouldn't have because he wouldn't go to anyone. And because he is a fragile soul, but you guys, do you know what? Love heals all things. Uh, I question whether or not on the way home, I'm like, oh my gosh, like he is so hurt. He is so fragile. Am I going to be able to do this? Will I be able to give him enough love to bring him through this? It has been so much fun to see him. You guys, he barked today. He didn't even bark. He didn't, he didn't even have a voice. And today I came home. I had left um, Phoebe and him for a little while. And I came home and he just comes out and he's 
wagging his tail and he's got this sweet little bark and I was like oh my gosh and he gives me kisses and it's just been such a wonderful thing to see him and the progression that he has made over just a matter of three days it has been unreal that love can heal him like that now had he not trusted me or come home with me he would still be in that shelter scared um, feeling like he's undeserving of love because someone hurt him. And I wanted to talk a minute how we as people uh, have to trust again after someone hurts us. We have to open our hearts and we have to have the ability to know that just because our spirits are broken at the time, we can't pass up on opportunities from other people that very well may be in the part of healing our soul, healing that fragile part of us and bringing in this world of life to you that you never even dreamed imaginable that would be a part of your life. That's little Milo, but I was going to relate it to how we are as humans because we do this. And so if you shut people out completely, then you're going to lose hope and faith in God to make a change. We don't handle problems that Jesus is presenting in our lives the way we're supposed to, okay? A lot of us build walls or we shelter ourselves from possible hurt uh, or we ignore and we think it will get better with time. So if someone's abusing you, you think if I ignore this, it'll get better with time. Here's the thing. If we don't go to Jesus with those problems, they will only fester and you guys, it's just going to cause you to be more and more miserable. Okay, you, you've got to take you've got to take advantage of these opportunities because you have to realize that God is placing that person or that thing right there in your life at the right time. And that is meant to help you, not for you to be guarded or say, you know what, I've been hurting. So I hurt. I'm going to shut you out. Okay. Oh, thank you, Laura. I think you're right. Now. Jesus will bring you to a point of understanding, all right? But it's going to be on his time. That's what may be a little frustrating because his time is a lot longer. His, his clock doesn't work quite like our clock works. But you have to be patient and know that he is going to bring you understanding. Our struggles and misunderstandings are without a doubt the two things that really gets us as Christians down. It gets us down in the dumps. Um, it's what kind of just brings our faith kind of almost kind of like to a halt, our hope. You know, um, the faith, the hope, the love, because you start thinking all of these negative things about yourself because of what someone else has done to you or has not provided to you. Or maybe you think you deserve more because chances are you probably do. Um, you just have to be aware of when God is speaking to you. And we had talked about making a move before, and that's when you make that move. And you follow his guidance. I personally was much like Milo at one point in my life when Niles met me. I had a broken spirit. I was emotionally abused. I was depressed. I was uncertain. I was not trusting of others. I was afraid. And I was worried of being hurt again. All of those things were almost overpowering to the point that I literally almost destroyed a relationship because I was set in the idea that I didn't deserve love. No one was ever going to love me the way I wanted them to love me. They were always going to hurt me. But instead, what I did was is I found a way to um, stop. And just let God work in my life. And I am so thankful that I did. Because look where I am now with the most wonderful husband in the world who treats me better than I ever dreamt in my entire life that a man would ever treat me. And I always chose losers. And I always thought that that's what I deserved. When in fact, we as women deserve so much more. So if you're in this place right now in life, um, I'm going to ask you to pray. And I want you to seek his understanding. And ask him to bring comfort, peace, and hope back into your life. Then, here's the next key. You must lay it at his feet and have faith that he will see you through the trials in your life. Faith is not believing that God can. All right, It is knowing that he will. 
Hope is being able to see that there is light amidst all the darkness. Love can heal all things. But here's the key. As 1 Corinthians 3, 4 through 8 says, Love that is patient, is kind, does not envy, does not boast, is not proud, is not rude, is not self-seeking, is not easily angered, keeps no record of wrongs, does not delight in evil, rejoices with the truth, always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, and it never fails. If someone is in your life and you don't have that kind of love, then guys, you probably deserve more. Um, I question that for the longest time. And don't think just because you have been broken or you're fragile or, you know, thinking of yourself as damaged goods. I called myself damaged goods for so many years because of all of the different forms of abuse that I've been through with emotional abuse. Um, it literally almost destroyed me. And you guys, I'm just telling you, if you put it in his hands... He will see you through, okay? Um, oh, I'm so glad, Tony. And congratulations on your upcoming nuptials. How exciting. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for sticking around with the Makeup Covers Jesus Hill section. If you think someone needs to hear this, please share it with them. Um, maybe tag them in the comments below. Have them like scroll through to the very end and let them listen to the message if you know someone that needs to hear this message. I hope that each of you have a fabulous night. If you need anything from me, please let me know. Please message me. You guys are always in my prayers. I love you lots. Mwah! And um, I'm glad to be back. And thank you for all the prayers during the time that I lost my little Charlie man. And thank you for all the continued prayers for my sweet little Milo. And, um, and then Phoebe as well, because she's had a little bit of grief with losing Charlie. Thank you again. And um, as I always tell you, no amount of makeup could ever cover my love for Jesus. Have a beautiful night. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.